Welcome to Electron Online. Here's example number two of how to find the focal length of a lens. And so we're going to use the lens maker's equation. Again, n is the index of refraction of the lens. And let's assume that this is equal to 1.5. The lens is immersed in air. So that n equals 1 is the index of refraction of the medium around the lens. The radius of curvature of the front side of the lens is 20 centimeters. The radius of curvature of the back side of the lens, you can see it doesn't curve as much, is therefore longer, and here it's 40 centimeters. Notice that both cases, the front and the back side of the lens, curve away from the observer, and when it curves away from the observer, we call the radius of curvature positive. All right, writing down the lens maker's equation, we have 1 over f is equal to the index of refraction of the lens minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. Plug in the numbers, we have 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over r1, r1 is a positive 20 centimeters, minus 1 over r2, and r2 is a positive 40 centimeters. Okay, so simplifying this, we have 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 times now we need a common denominator here, so I'm going to make that 40. So we have 2 over 40 minus 1 over 40. And then continuing on over here, so we have the focal length equals 0 0.5, or 1 over the focal length equals 0 0.5 times. And of course, 2 over 40 minus 1 over 40 is 1 over 40. So now we can multiply that together. We have 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 over 40. Now turning the equation around because we're looking for f, not 1 over f. So f is equal to 40 over 0 0.5. And of course, divided by a half is the same. It's like multiplying times 2. And so the focal length of this lens is equal to 80. And we'll use centimeters because we use centimeters for the radii of curvature of the both sides of the lens. So in this case, we have a 80 centimeter lens, or it is a positive 80 centimeters. And of course, whenever a lens has a positive focal length, it is a converging lens. So even though the back side of the lens looks like a diverging lens, and the front side of the lens looks like a converging lens, since the front side of the lens, the one that looks like a converging lens, has a smaller curvature, radi a smaller curvature of radius, it has more of an effect on the bending of the light as the light goes to the lens than the back side of the lens. And so the front side lens outweighs the back side lens, so together it still is a positive lens or a converging lens. All right, so that's our second example. On to our third example.